So in this video we want to talk about implicit differentiation. And what that is, is, um, for example, what if we want to find the slope at some point on the unit circle? So we have this here, and uh, let's draw a circle in, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the, it's not really centered, that's okay. Uh, the equation for the unit circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now, w if you wanted to say differentiate this, well, we'd always had the y on the one side, right? So if we did want to, uh, we would write this, probably would write this as y squared is equal to 1 minus x squared. And then y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, this is the first time we've seen this plus or minus, and this isn't really, a, this is not a function because there's uh, there's two, except for the very uh, farthest right and farthest left point, there's two um, f of x values for each x value. But uh, we can still use implicit differentiation to solve for um, the slope at any of these given points, right? So what we're going to do is, um, Let's do a different example first, and then I'll show you the difference between the normal or explicit differentiation, that's what we've been doing, versus implicit differentiation. So say we had this other function, it's a little bit easier to look at. Um, we'll, we'll say it's uh, 2xy plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so now if we were going to normally differentiate this, or do it how we would, we'd want to isolate the y. So we could say that this is equal to y, um, y times, what would this be, 2x plus 1 is equal to 3, and then y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 1. So when we differentiate, when we look for y prime, we would find that y prime is equal to, well, this is all going to be over, using the quotient rule, this is all going to be over 2x plus 1 squared. And now we're going to have f prime, which is 0, times 2x plus 1, minus uh, 3 times the derivative of the bottom is times 2. So we get y prime is equal to uh, negative 6 over 2x plus 1 all squared. Now if we want to differentiate this implicitly, this is a new way, well not really, this is kind of a new way that you guys haven't really noticed, but I want to explain to you right now. So if we want to differentiate here, like the exact same thing, 2xy uh, plus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this here as 2x and y. Uh, this is a, a product rule uh, problem right here. So 2x is the first term and y is the second one. So we're going to differentiate 2x and then times y, the second one. Here, we'll, we'll go like this and we'll isolate them so you can see. Kind of like that. So this would be f and this would be g, right? So we would have f prime, so it would be 2 times g which is just y. Now this would be plus. Now it would be f, which is 2x times g prime. And so this is y, so this is just going to be times y prime. right? And now for the next one, we're going to add the derivative of this term of y. This is going to be y prime. And just move the 3 over to the side. And when we differentiate, that will be equal to 0. So now again, what we can do is we can isolate um, the y prime. So we're going to get y prime is going to be equal to 2x plus 1 uh, is equal to negative 2y. And so y prime is going to equal negative 2y over 2x plus 1. So here you're seeing y prime is equal to this thing. And then y prime is equal to this thing. And right now they look different, but I'll just prove that they're actually the same thing. So if we, we know what y is, right? 
we can just uh, we can just isolate y up here, and we would get y is equal to uh, three over two x plus one. So if we substitute in uh, three over two x plus one for y, uh, we'll get y prime is equal to negative two times three over three over two x plus one. And this is all over two x plus one. And then that's the same as, we can move this in, so this would be negative six over two x plus one, and this simplifies out to negative six, those stay on the top, and this moves to the bottom over two x plus one. Now there's two of them on the bottom times each other, so we can just square that. And so if you look at this, now we're getting the same thing. Y prime, and our y prime is equal to negative six over two x plus one squared, and y prime is equal to negative six over two x plus one squared. So this way in the green, we did that, we say that's uh, differentiating implicitly, and over here on the blue, this is differentiating explicitly if the, the y is isolated, if we're able to isolate the y and just do everything else. But often, um, especially for circles, um, we're gonna have to differentiate implicitly.